Today's adventure brings me to Anaheim. Jolly Bee, or is it Jolie Bee, home of the famous Chicken Joy. They have a drive-thru on the corner of Crescent. What's the other road? Euclid. Crescent and Euclid. Yes. By the way, Dylan's here. Theme Park Obsession. He has never tried Jolly Bee, Jolie Bee. No, I've seen it. I've, I've driven past it a few times, but I've never had their food. Now, I invited you to get a hot dog because it is National Hot Dog Month. Yeah. And then... I changed my mind because I've had so many hot dogs that you want to try some unusual chicken that started in the Philippines? Yeah, I'm down. You, you seem stoked. <laughs> I'm like, it's a little bit, you know, I'm a little nervous, but I'm not really sure. They also know? have spaghetti. <laughs> See, that's wild. Jolly. Oh yeah, no, I was trying to ask what the, what the corner of the street was. Crescent Ave and Euclid. All right. Now, I was here about a year ago for my first time at this establishment, but I'm back. I'm gonna try some different menu items. And you can see they have the mascot right in front over there. That B, it is a Jolly B. So I'm just gonna call it Jolly B because it's Jolly. Home of the famous Chicken Joy, which I haven't really fully wrapped my head around what Chicken Joy is. Maybe when you eat chicken, you're full of joy. And at the moment, the drive-through, not too incredibly busy. The last time I was here, they did not have indoor dining. Indoor dining is back, and this is probably only about five minutes from Disneyland, five minutes from Knott's, if you had a, a hankering for some, for some chicken joy. See, this is what I was talking about at the menu. They also have a burger steak here. Bigger, beefier, and more satisfying than ever for $4.99. It's not your typical fast food restaurant because they have a 30% thicker patty with mushrooms. You don't know what to think right now. You're giving me like the, the silent treatment now because you're thinking, what the heck am I getting myself into? Yeah, like I, I, seeing this is wild because yeah, like you said, this is not your typical fast food fare. This is a- uh, It's a little different. Different. <laughs> it's not your SoCal, your SoCal no, menu. No, like even the rice is throwing me off. Welcome everyone, Adam the Woo here. I am in the sun, let me get over in the shade next to the mascot. Probably has a name. Should have looked up the name of the mascot beforehand, but he is a bee. You think it's a you think it's a a male or a female bee? You had to guess. I don't know. It's up for speculation. <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> sir, ma'am. Jolly bee. Nonetheless, very dapper. A very dapper. It's almost like on a skateboard of sorts. I'm inviting you to join me, the bee that's very jolly, and Dylan Theme Park Obsession, who is very confused right now. Yeah. You're thinking, we should have just gone to get hot dogs out of <laughs> You can get the Fiesta platter here. Yeah, it's a traditional with a, with a, with a Filipino egg. noodle dish with rich sauce and toppings. Now the menu is, there's a lot of menu items. You don't even know what you're gonna get because we haven't even gone in to look at the proper menu no, yet. I've never even been here before. Join me and Dylan. Shall you? That's a long intro. That's a long intro. <laughs> now I will definitely be partaking of some chicken joy. You did a, you did your voice on the, the you wanna read this yeah, off in your voice? The land crash voice. Next level crispy and next level juicy. I like that. That was good. I didn't even realize that was coming out of your mouth. You, you know what you were doing? You were doing the voice of the bee. <laughs> so see, I would have to have a lozenge. Let me try it. Let me try it. Next level. Man, oh my gosh. It's pretty, yeah, it's intense. <laughs> Once they have smoothies in here. How do you do, do that again? Next level crispy. And next level juicy. Same as the land crusher. Land cr land crusher. I do like the fact that the arm is outreached saying, Come on in. Welcome. See, my my imitation of the mascot is different than yours. That actually, that's probably what he sounds like. They also do DoorDash, they do takeout, they order online, they do drive through and they're open from Monday through Sunday, that's seven days a week, 8 a.m. to 9 p.m. Oh, by the way, we have to have, did you bring your facial covering? Yes, I did. Because these regulations are coming back. Yep. Oh, you're going with the Universal Studios. See, I got Universal Studios, Disney, See, CityWalk doesn't have this kind of menu. 
No. Only Jolie B. Jolly B. Yeah. Jolly B. Jolly B. Okay. We're going in. I gotta put my I gotta put my mask on. Going in? Oh yeah, now they have indoor seating in here now. Which is kind of nice. Last time I was here about a year ago, all this was kind of stanchioned off over here. Oh yeah, they got the menu up top here. All right, take a look, take a gander at the menu. See, they got all the fresh chicken back there. They also have, they have a chicken sandwich up there. They have a chicken joy bucket. What, what kind of food do you want? You want chicken? I might have to get some chicken. They have the six piece chicken joy bucket. It's a family pack with the spaghetti. Are you, you wanna, you wanna take a, take a, take a spaghetti? Yeah, we can do that. We want to share it, right? You want to share the six-piece chicken joy bucket? They also have the peach mango pie. That comes with it. Let's do that for $25. Yeah, that's not bad. All right, let's do that. Oh, they also have a Yum Burger. They have a $10 snack pack Yum Burger. Four-piece cheesy. Okay, it's gone. It's gone now. You can also get 10 For $10, you get the six-piece... Okay, that's gone too. Okay, we're just gonna go with the the number eight. We're gonna do the number eight. Yeah, we'll do the number eight. Yeah. Number eight. Twenty-five dollars, six-piece chicken joy bucket, spaghetti, and three peach mango pies. Went ahead and ordered. This is showing all the different locations around the world. Kind of a, a vague map of sorts, but they're located all across the U.S. I did not opt for a soda. I could have used a soda machine, but I got the pineapple. They have a a special pineapple juice that I have ordered, but Dylan, I believe Dylan got a got a soda. All along the dining room, they have they have some etchings of the mascot and pieces of chicken. We got a group of folks over here that are playing guitar and whatnot. I'm also noticing all the chicken over there has little flags on it, probably to tell you what's spicy and what's not spicy. We opted for half and half, half spicy, half not spicy. You see the little flags there on the chicken. Individually, the prices on the up oh, they went away. The prices on the pies were a dollar ninety nine each. It moves quickly. They also have the chicken tender. These are those prices. They also have the okay. Thank you. The chicken sandwich prices as well, and the spaghetti individual prices. I went with this one right over here. So we got quite a bit of food as well. Burger steak sounds very tempting. And our order is ready. This is what we're dealing with. Oh, check that's out a that lot. incredible spread. Yeah, look at that spaghetti. Look at that spaghetti's got our name on it. All right, you got it? Yeah. Here, you can carry. I'll grab your soda. <laughs> grab the rest of it. Let's grab this table right here. Right over here by the door. Or maybe we'll grab this one over here. Even though this one needs to be wiped down. Let's grab some napkins and wipe this down. Now we're each gonna we each, we're each gonna have one and a half of these mango pies because there was three of them. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna have to do if if you enjoy it, we could have the second half of it. Now there's chicken joy, but I don't see any pie joy. Peach mango pie is something this place is known for. It's kind of like you have to get the peach mango pie. So I'm told. We've been here one other time. Are you uh do you like peach mango pie? I don't think I've ever had peach mango pie, but I'm down to try it. Oh, look at the mascot here, painting a picture. Oh. Kind of almost like Figment in a way. Figment yeah. kind of always is like has a paintbrush and whatnot. Crispy licious and juicy licious. They have so many slogans. There's a lot going on. And you're sitting right underneath your little. Yeah. I'm ready for the next slogan. You couldn't even finish it, your throat's already hurting. <laughs> next level juicy. I'm getting better at it. I'm getting better at the. Is this gravy? That is gravy. For what? It is, uh, it's fat-free gravy. As far as you know, it's fat-free, which is not true. Probably a lot of calories in that. <laughs> what to say? Yeah. It, the, so that is for what is that for? Are we supposed to get a side? Or Are we getting sides? Yeah, because she put the gravy on there. But I don't know what the gravy's for. Should I go ask if there's sides included? Yeah. Are we supposed to get like mashed potatoes? Are you supposed to dip the chicken in the gravy? Oh, you are. You're supposed to dip the chicken in the gravy. Yeah, we, it doesn't come with mashed potatoes, so the gravy is just extra, it's like a dipping sauce. Do you want mashed potatoes? I can go order mashed potatoes. No, I mean, that's why I, I had no, because she put it on the, <laughs> I don't know what she put it on there for. It's different though. It's a yeah, different, it's totally a. totally different. Here's your uh, pineapple. Yeah, this is good. This is also something. You got the peach mango. So these are the two items you have to try, even though 
you didn't get one, so you don't have to try it. You went with the soda. I just wanted the classic soda. Okay, unveil the chicken here. Give me the unveiling. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, yeah, I was right. They have the little flags on it for spicy. So we got three spicy and three regular pieces of chicken. And then they also include the paper plates here and the spaghetti. Look how much spaghetti there is. Yeah, that is uh... Spaghetti and chicken. Who knew? I'm gonna go ahead and, well, not you use your friend. What would you say about me going right into that? You're gonna dive right into I'm it. I'm just gonna dive right into it. The theme park obsession slogan with the spicy. I'll do spicy. Would this be a, this would be a thigh. You going with the leg. Leg, yeah. Leg. The Billy Madison quote. And then I guess, yeah, I guess the rest of it's non-spicy. They have a little take home souvenir here. I've oh, never there's, seen... I think there's one more spicy in there. It's kind of mixed around in there. Yeah. Maybe it's the, probably the breast in there that has the... But I've never seen a place put the little, no. the little flag on there. It's almost like... That's kind of cool because they'll let you know. Yeah. Pretty cool. I got to document your first bite before I take mine because I've already tried this about a year ago. Oh, you're just you're just ripping it right yeah, off I, like I, an animal. I always rip the chicken like that. All right, do it. Give me your thoughts. Your first time at Jollibee. Good? Yeah, it's actually really good. What's it comparable to? Kentucky Fried Chicken. KFC? Yeah. That was like the first thing that came to my mind. It's definitely comparable to KFC. So even though it's spicy, you wouldn't compare it to like Popeyes? No, because I think Popeyes is more spicy. Spicy? Yeah. Popeyes is very, very it's got spicy. The, it got more Cajun uh, seasoning. It's been so long since I've had this, I, I honestly forgot what it tastes like. Get rid of the little flag there. It's very crispy. Oh yeah, they weren't lying with the Very, very crispy. Little crispy. <laughs> I'm just gonna start right on with the with the outer skin covering. It does have a little spice to it, but not as spicy as Popeyes, like you were saying. Yeah. It's there, but very subtle. I feel like it's pretty standard for chicken. I don't think it's uh, anything like earth shatteringly different than what I've had before. It's good, though. Now that I say that, the more I eat, the more I like it. So all you're gonna eat is the leg. No, the We should save the pizza for last. Yeah. I was gonna save the dessert for last. We still have to. We still have to at least go into the massive amount of spaghetti. Look at the size of the spaghetti. And a win in Rome moment. Going in on a little bit of a little dippage. See if you can hear the crunch. See if you can hear the crunch. Mmm. And if you don't feel like dipping, you could take it and just kind of lather it in on top. I don't want to go drench it too much, but there we go. Going in on a leg now. This is the non-spicy. Pay no attention to that flag that came from the other piece. This is the non-spicy. You are just shredding that. I've always done that with chicken. Just pull it off. Because I don't like eating the fat, so oh. I separate all that. From okay. The, yeah. it makes sense. I'm just going to do, I'm going to go in, go full on in like a carnivore with this leg. We're, we're devouring this leg. Try a little bit of the old pineapple drink. Oh my gosh. That is good. Wow. It's like a Dole Whip in a, in a juice formula. Oh, dang. Oh my gosh. Leg time. With the gravy on it. That's definitely the non-spicy. It doesn't have as much kick. No. Hot, yo, hot. I'm eating chicken, looking at a photograph of chicken. What do they call that? There's like a word for it. 
when you're doing something at the same time you're seeing something? We must look it up. I don't know what the word would be. Never mind. Scratch that from your memory. It's a pretty good chicken when I, would, I imagine a lot of people have probably passed this place not even knowing what kind of food there is here. I mean, like I said, I've passed it a dozen times and I had no idea. It's the kind of place that those who know, know. Those who don't know, don't. Must be informed. Let's pop this bad boy open and see what's happening. Oh, that's a lot of spaghetti. Wow. So here's the interesting thing about this is there are little, so we are getting some hot dogs in some side because there's some little hot dog slices over in here as well. And some cheese and some spaghetti. We still got a couple pieces of chicken left too. We're gonna be full. We're gonna be full after this. Yeah, that's a that's a lot. What's your first thought upon seeing this with the hot dogs in there? Well, the hot dogs in there, yeah, I, I'm not normally a hot dog spaghetti guy. I don't know what this is here. It like, might be that, a tomato. You think that's a tomato? Either that or it's a chunk of meat. I think that might be a chunk of the hot dog or a chunk of ham. Wow, that's so interesting. Yeah. All right, scoop scoop some out there. Get you some of that. So. If you so true, you don't have to get a whole bunch if you don't want. Just get. I see you're trying to work around the parts you don't want to. You're not real too confident. With. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just, I'll try to get. Wow, it's like in here. I might have some leftovers. Oh, there you oh go. wow. Now I've heard of like a cheese stretch you can do for a video. We got the cheese stretching. You're doing a spaghetti. Yeah, here. I'll do the. I'll do a little bit piece of the hot dog. Ooh, nice. Okay, we gotta spread it around here. All right, I gotta get a little bit here. I gotta go in. Just gotta scoop out a little bit for myself too, with the mascot looking in. I'm gonna go with the double, the double scoopage. Double scoop, yeah. There we go. Right over there. Didn't get the best angle of that, but that's. This is what we're dealing with. Oh, I got a lot of spaghetti here. A lot of spaghetti. The spaghetti, I think you're gonna find an interesting taste. More dramatic than the chicken. Really? But I need to document your, so give me one second. I have to document your first bite. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get pieces of ham and the extra. Just a little roll around. Oh, you're going with the double, the double yeah, utensil. Gotta, Classic cutler reaction also. I have to try to get the hot dog and the. You want a little bit of everything in there. Yeah. Right? I'm gonna roll it up there. What I recall, it's a little sweeter than normal sauce. Okay. Here we go. Sweeter? Oh yeah. That Here. is really sweet actually. I wonder what they put in the tomato sauce. Sugar? Probably could look up the menu. Do you like it or is it just too much of like a mind scramble? No, it's good, but it's definitely, it's really sweet. I think that's what's kind of throwing me off. Okay, it's been over a year since I've had it, so I'm gonna go in with a little slice of a wiener and a little, little sweet sauce. <laughs> Do the wrap around also. I'm not very stylish with my do the classic twist. My fork utensil tool methods. Oh yeah, it's definitely got a little sweetness to it. Something a little sweet too. It's not. Really, I wouldn't call it sweet though. No, it's not savory. Halfway between sweet and savory. Yeah, it's right there in the middle. <laughs> I like it. Yeah, it's not too bad. The hot dogs throw me off a little bit, though. Same. I have something on my face? Just a little bit. I have to admit, I didn't pick the best place for lighting because this is completely blocking out all the light and any light coming through the window, the camera's having trouble picking it up. Yeah. But I'm in it for the long run. I'm gonna have some leftover spaghetti. Oh yeah, there's a lot of spaghetti here. So your first bite of the chicken, did you feel joy? Mm-hmm. I felt the joy. There's so many hot dogs in there. 
How many hot dogs are down in there? That's like a, a couple full. There's probably like over a dozen. A dozen hot dogs? Like a dozen like slices. Oh, a dozen slices. Do a dozen hot dogs would be a lot. That would be a lot. The more I think about it, you could possibly put the gravy on the spaghetti. Oh, wow. Because they don't technically say like what the gravy is for. But you would just assume it's for the chicken. I still gotta eat another piece of you want a piece of chicken or are you done? I might have one more piece of chicken. We should polish off the chicken before we yeah. go into the pies. You know, if you put the gravy on the spaghetti, that would definitely be like something like epic mealtime status. Oh wow. Yeah, that would be And you'd probably have a heart palpitation. Probably. Oh I got another leg. Okay. Grab it. I'm gonna have a little dippage. Ooh, this is spicy. I can tell by the flag on that. Right? Okay. Beware. It's got the flag there. It says spicy. You know, remove the flag. You don't want to leave this in. This, this would not be good inside the mouth. Take that out of there. I prefer the spicy over the non-spicy. Spicy's good. If I had to get it again, I would go with all spicy, not, not mild. It's like when I go to Popeye's chicken, I always get the spicy chicken. Always. And as you stated, this isn't as spicy as Popeye's. No. It's kind of a notch down. Yeah. I'd say about 50% less spicy than Popeye's. I would, yeah, I would agree with that. Bojangles is also spicy. This is not as spicy. I've Bojangles. never had Bojangles. Bojangles is pretty dang good. Where's that at? It's more of a southern thing, like Georgia. Alabama, Mississippi, Florida. Next time you go back to Florida, get yourself a Bojangles. I might get a refill. I might get a secondary pineapple juice as well. I do like that the mascot is right on. You know, I'm going to look up who, what the mascot's name is. I need to know what the mascot's name is. Oh, look. This is kind of weird. There's like the mascot behind on the box top. Oh. I'm seeing through the cup, and I'm also seeing your mascot on your cup. This is like a mascot overload. The Jobly. Uh, Jolly Jobly? Jo I was going to say Jobly, but Jolly B Inception. Just looked it up, and in fact, it is the mascot's name who serves joy daily. It is a, it's stated, it is a large anthropomorphic bee. Jolly Bee. Oh, during the mass, I'm, I'm just reading this off Wikipedia, which sometimes is correct, sometimes it's not. But it states on this website that Mickey Mouse, during the mascot's conception, Mickey Mouse of Disney was made as the benchmark for Jolie Bee's design. Wow. And we're only about five minutes from Disneyland. So they're related. They kind of are. Do you trust Wikipedia? 50% uh, of the time I do. You know what I was just thinking? Maybe the gravy is for the peach mango pies. Could that be it? <laughs> I think we <laughs> solved the puzzle. Ooh, you know it would really be confusing. <laughs> I went back up to the counter and purchased. They do not offer refills on the pineapple drink. So I went ahead and purchased for a couple more dollars another one of these pineapple juice drinks, which are very tasty. So I needed to wash down the one and a half. Also, I've taken the spicy flag out. Didn't want to confuse anyone. Okay, so we kind of do, you know where you put the quarter underneath these? And you do the, how's that game work? Oh, and you just kind of like find which one the quarter's in there? Yeah, so like one of these is, wait a second, you know what, one of these, is the spicy, Dylan. You ready? Okay. Which one's the spicy? Spicy, spicy. Which one's the spicy? Hand is faster than the eye. Which one is gonna be the spicy? This one right here is the spicy. First look at this, it almost looks like the texture of like an egg roll. Does it yeah. look like egg roll texture? You gonna try to dip it in the gravy? No, no. <laughs> I think that would okay, be this is the peach mango pie. What is smelling it there? It doesn't, it doesn't really smell like anything. All right, let's do it. Mm. Mm. Not bad. I can definitely see the appeal of these. Pretty good. I don't really taste the peach too much though. 
Definitely has more of a, a mango edge to it. Pretty dang good. Mm -hmm. I, I should, didn't inquire, but I wonder if this is the only flavor of pie they have. It might be. Is the peach mango. Pretty tasty. The only other pies I've ever had like this are from McDonald's. I know we're mentioning a lot of other places besides Jollibee. Yeah, there's like similar pies you buy them at the grocery store. They do? Yeah, they have like fruit pies. Oh, that's right. I have seen those. Like Mrs. Somethings. Yeah. Mrs. Mrs. Pie. Mrs. <laughs> See if you can hear the crunch. Now, since there is a third one and there's only two of us, we're going to go have these on the secondary pie that has more of a mango presence than it does a peach presence. So Dylan has gone up to get a plastic piece of plastic cutlery. Oh, this has a blemish on the top of it there, but it kind of gives you the opportunity to see down inside at the goodness that awaits down inside of there. Do they have any? All they had was a fork? Yeah. I have to cut it down with a, a piece of plastic cutlery fork. I guess you could use that side of it as like a dull, a dull blade. Yeah. Or we could just we could just tear it, in, or you could just do that. Oh, there we go. Wow. See, that was the little hole in there that kind of like yeah, we have some special bubbled effects. up. This is definitely giving a spoiler, even though I already filmed it. This would have been the first thing I filmed that would have spoiled what it looked like. Which which side do you want? I'll do this side. Oh, you're going with the clean side? Yeah. <laughs> okay, cool. All right, I'm going with the, the dirty side. Ooh. Okay. I love that even though there's a lot of people in here eating, no one is looking at me awkward. It's no. just like, oh, that's the norm. Yeah. The normal uh, Jolly Bee way. <laughs> All right. That's going to do it for today. I think we got all. We had all the product except that we didn't bring the spaghetti. We didn't bring the leftover spaghetti out. Yeah, we're missing. But I got everything in here for documenting this for posterity. Can you continue holding it and tell me if you would visit here again? Yeah, I would actually uh, come back for the chicken. I don't know if I'd come back for the spaghetti, but definitely the chicken. The chicken was very good. So you're going to you're passing on the spaghetti for the future. Next time you gotta come back, you gotta try one of these. Yeah, I'll have to put that on the list. Put that on the list. The chicken, 100%. You've now done Jollibee in Anaheim. Yeah? I was confused, I thought this was Buena Park, but it's right on the cusp. Yeah, we're on the border. Buena is like the next block over, give or take. I'm not, a, I'm not a human map, so I don't know why I'm even saying that, but we're pretty close. And now we know the mascot's name. Jollibee or Jolly B himself. My, my impression of him is different than yours. Mine is like, come on in. Because he was like modeled after Mickey Mouse. It's probably what he sounds like then. He definitely he doesn't, doesn't sound like, come on in. It doesn't sound like that. I'll see you in the next video, the vlog. <laughs> it's okay. Still a little confused on what chicken joy really is. My impression is that it is the joy you get when you eat their chicken. Because there's nothing on the menu called the chicken joy. I think it's the joy you get when you eat their chicken. There's also the Red Ribbon Bake Shop next door that's also affiliated with Jollibee or Jollibee. Not to be confused with Red Robin. It's Red Ribbon. Time to cheers yourself, mascot. Cheers.